everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, we're almost done our bottling machine. Uh, we've built our liquid experience depository. Uh, we have built the actual bottling machine. All that's left to do is to power it, uh, to feed liquid experience uh, into it, uh, to feed bottles into it, uh, to collect those uh, bottles of enchanting and send them right back into my refined storage system where I can pull them out anywhere in my world that I've got uh, a, a terminal. Uh, so powering it is super simple. Uh, I have built this right next to my reactor. Uh, so I've just... Uh, I've just uh, run some enhanced energy conduit over from there. Uh, as you can see, it is now powered up 16,000 IF out of 16,000 IF. Uh, next up, we want to start moving the uh, liquid experience over into the bottling machine. Uh, there are better ways of doing it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to stick with a transfer node. Uh, these The fluid ones uh, are pretty straightforward. I've used them before. Uh, so I'm just going to place that down there. I've also got some transfer pipes. So I'm going to shift, click, and then we're going to come out and make that connection. Uh, now, this is not the fastest of transfer nodes. Uh, I could have run it back into my refined storage system, but uh, it didn't make sense to pull it out to display it just to run it back in. And I'm probably not going to be using, uh, I'm not going to be manufacturing a lot of these bottles of experience at once. Uh, so I'm not that, that worried about it. Uh, now uh, to put the droppers onto the, uh, onto the conveyor belts. We could just hand do it to throw bottles on one at a time, uh, but that's no fun. What we want to do is set up an automatic system. So to do that, we're actually going to need a redstone clock. So uh, Sky Factory 3 has got a nice uh, compact redstone clock. It is four stone, four redstone, and one redstone torch. Uh, we're going to place that over here. Uh, I'm just going to place it down uh, right off of the thing. Now, it is being powered by the power coming out of the um, uh, out of the energy conduit. Uh, I don't want that. I want to be able to turn this on and off. Uh, so I'm going to put a lever on here. I'm going to turn it off for now. Uh, to put the items onto the conveyor belt, I'm just going to use a standard dropper. Uh, nothing fancy about this. It doesn't need to be. Um, so if I flip this switch, you can hear the redstone clock clicking that off every, uh, well, I guess it's every four ticks, I believe is uh, how the math works out. Uh, so right now this is empty. We got to feed it with bottles. Uh, so I have an exporter, which is going to export items from my refined storage system into uh, the dropper here. So we've placed it down. Uh, like before, we've got to prime it with what we want it to start pulling over. It is items. It is not, um, not fluids that we're going here. We just, we wanted to pull items. Um, so if we open this up, you can see it's starting to fill out up with glass bottles from a refined storage system. Uh, next up, we got to come up with a way of collecting them. I could use a couple of different things, but I decided the simplest thing I had was just a regular storage crate, uh, topped off with a item collector. Oh, shift and click. Uh, now I'm using an advanced item collector because that's what I had left over from uh, one of my previous builds. Uh, a standard item collector would work as well. The only difference is uh, you won't need to the advanced comes up with the radius that you can expand or contract. I'm just going to contract it down. I don't need it picking up items from a large uh, radius here. Uh, also, uh, actually we'll do this one after we do a demo. Uh, so I'm going to flip the switch. I'm going to turn that off now. It's going to come up, it's going to fill it up with experience, it's going to come over and it's going to get picked up and sucked into the uh, storage crate. So there's my bottle of enchanting. Uh, now I could keep them stored in here uh, and just I'd have to come here to pick them up every single time I wanted it. Uh, but I want to pull this out of here into my refined storage system so I can access it anywhere around my world. Uh, so we're going to take an importer now. We're going to import all the items in this chest into my refined storage system. You can see it's gone. Uh, now I'm just going to turn this on. It's going to run in the background. Uh, as there's experience in here, it's going to fill up a bottle. It's going to throw it into the storage thing. Uh, if it ever gets to the point where it runs out of experience, it's just going to run those bottles over and over again. Uh, like I said, the transfer nodes are pretty slow. So, uh, 
it's not the best system, but uh, it, it works for now. I will upgrade this sometime in the future, but uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. That is the automatic bottler. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.